Linear fusion rifles are getting a much needed buff in season 14 of Destiny 2, having been shoved to the sidelines by many players given their current state in the sandbox. Today I'm going to have a look at some of the best linear fusion rifles to get for season 14, their stats, their god rolls as well as how to get them so you can be ready for the rise of linear fusion rifles next season. Well, if you like this video or find it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Bungie gave us a glimpse of what they're going to do with linear fusion rifles in Season 14 in a recent This Week at Bungie update, and they said, So weapons and archetypes that need to be tuned in order to create breathing room for other aspects of the Destiny sandbox to shine. So we're planning on quite a few buffs to underuse perks, linear fusion rifles, and more. So no doubt we're going to get more info in the coming weeks related to exactly how they're going to be buffed in Season 14, and I'll keep you posted for all of that latest information. Previous to Beyond Light, we had similar information related to 120 hand cannons, so I would expect linear fusion rifles to climb the charts for most used weapons in Season 14. Well, there's rumours also pointing to the seasonal exotic weapon being a linear fusion rifle next season, according to some leaks, and normally this is paired with mods on the seasonal artefact. We don't have the exact details confirmed by Bungie just yet, but hopefully we're going to be getting more information coming very soon. It's highly likely that we're going to be getting some information in an upcoming This Week at Bungie update related to buffs coming next season for linear fusion rifles and also underused perks, so keep it locked to the channel for the latest information. Well today I'm going to go through a mixture of legendary and exotic linear fusion rifles, their god rolls plus where to get them. So without further delay, let's dive into that list. Well, first up, we got Corsair's Wrath, and Corsair's Wrath is a legendary power linear fusion rifle, which is a precision frame, meaning it fires a long-range precision energy bolt. This weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. For PvP, quick draw and moving target would be a good roll, and for PvE, firmly planted and demolitionist would be one to look out for. The most popular role out there with the community at the moment is Outlaw and Thresh, with Thresh being a recently introduced perk, and it grants a small amount of super energy on kills, and it also works in PvP now. Well, to get this weapon, you have to run Wrathborn Hunts, and that is the seasonal activity from Season of the Hunt, but it is sticking around for the whole year with Beyond Light. And it can be a drop from the end, or you can get it from ranking up at Crow. Well, next up, we've got the Queen Breaker, and the Queen Breaker is an exotic power linear fusion rifle that deals arc damage. And looking at the exotic perks, we've got Wire Rifle, so it fires a long range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies on hit. And we've also got Hit Fire Grip, so it increases the accuracy, stability, and precision hit targeting when firing from the hip. This one has great stability and reload speed, and also has five in the magazine. And Queen Breaker already has great DPS, and when linear fusion rifles get a buff, then this one could be right up there with the best DPS output in the whole game, so it's definitely one to look out for in Season 14. Well, to get this weapon, it's a random drop from exotic engrams, and also is sometimes sold by Zur. I do an update related to Zur's inventory each week, so subscribe and hit notifications to never miss a Zur update. Well, next up we've got Tarantula, and Tarantula is a legendary power linear fusion rifle with a precision frame, meaning it fires a long-range precision energy bolt, and the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. For PvE, Feeding Frenzy and Wellspring would be a really good role, and for PvP, Moving Target and Snapshot Sights would probably be the role to go after. And the most popular role out there in the community at the moment is Feeding Frenzy and Dragonfly for those elemental damage explosions. To get this one, it's in the World Loot Pool, introduced as part of Season of the Chosen, and it's available through the Chosen Loot Drops via the Prismatic Recaster and Umbral Engrams. Well, next up, we've got an old classic, and it's Sleeper Simulant. And Sleeper Simulant is an exotic power linear fusion rifle, and looking at the exotic perks, we've got Dawn Roshan, the weapon's laser over-penetrates enemies and refracts off hard surfaces. We also have moving target to increase movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. So compared to a standard fusion rifle, the sleeper simulant has much more range and accuracy. So instead of firing seven individual bolts per burst, it only fires once. And it's got the pinpoint accuracy of a sniper rifle, although it does use a low zoom sight, which is something most heavy weapons lack and is capable of precision damage. 
So each beam fired has virtually unlimited range as well as no damage fall off, meaning the damage inflicted either at close or long range will be the same. So talking of the damage, the Sleeper Simulant inflicts extremely high damage per shot, making it a devastating weapon to use against bosses and can even penetrate closed shriekers. Now it was the subject of a nerf in a previous season, as it was ruining Gambit with invaders wielding the very deadly Sleeper Simulant, and it is also one of the best looking weapons of the game, and it has roots in Destiny 1. Well to get this one, you can buy it from the Monument to Lost Lights, and this can be found next to your vault in the tower, and what you want to do is look under Red War Exotics. Well next up we got the Threaded Needle, and the Threaded Needle is a legendary power linear fusion rifle, which is a precision frame, meaning it fires a long range precision energy bolt, and the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. For PvE, Clown Cartridge and Dragonfly be a decent roll, plus this one is one of the most popular roles out there with the community at the moment. So Clown Cartridge randomly overfills the ammo on reloading, and Dragonfly creates elemental damage explosions on kills. Another good role for PvE would be Rapid Hit and Vorpal Weapon, making it really useful against bosses for Legend Lost Sectors, Strikes, Nightfalls or Raids. For PvP, Killing Wind and Vorpal Weapon would be good, giving you that boost to mobility, range and handling for a short duration through Killing Wind, and Vorpal Weapon is great for taking out Guardians and their supers, and Rangefinder is another good perk for PvP. To get Threaded Needle, it's a random drop from the end of Battlegrounds, plus you can get it from rank 30 on the Season Pass in Season of the Chosen. Now you don't have to unlock it from the Season Pass to get it, it's RNG based, but you are guaranteed to get a roll from the Season Pass at rank 30. But if you're watching this video in the future, then what you want to do is run Battlegrounds, and hopefully it's going to drop for you at the end in the loot chest. And finally today, we've got the number one entry, and it's Arbalest. And Arbalest is an exotic kinetic linear fusion rifle, so, so all the other ones have been power weapons, and this one is a kinetic linear fusion rifle. So looking at the exotic perks, we've got Compounding Force, so it fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. We've also got Disruption Break, so breaking enemy shields with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. So the weapon is a handheld railgun that's especially damning against any unit with a shield, be it a centurion, a captain, a minotaur, wizard, a knight, taken. You know, if your target's got an elemental shield, then it can be certain that the Arbalest will deliver a world of hurt to said target. Well, to get this one, it is a world drop exotic weapon, plus you can buy it from Zur when he's selling it. As I mentioned before, I do an update on Zer's inventory each week starting on Friday, so subscribe to This Week in Video Games, hit notifications to never miss a Zer update. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think about linear fusion rifles and what do you want the buff to be, and let me know your favourite linear fusion rifle, and if I've missed any off the list, let me know what's missing. Well, that is it for this guide on the best linear fusion rifles for Season 14 in Destiny 2, and as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, see you soon.